when I was 18, I drove a 1972 Chevy pickup truck and it was bright orange. And I can see that appeal of driving a vehicle, but th those are times of past. They're not going to give out driver's licenses in the future. Uh, you're going to have to get a special license and drive on a special track. So you either beat them or you join them. And that's true with all technology. Uh, so the Apple car, $100,000, but I think it would definitely be worth it. And personally, I like uh, to be, um, uh, it's, it's not, I, I don't like to multitask. There's a difference between uh, multitasking and being proactive. I like to be proactive. An example of being proactive would be getting into an automated vehicle like an Apple car and reading the newspaper on your way to work or doing your homework on your way to school or writing up a report on your way to the office. Doing that, you know, when you're just sitting in the car, that's not multitasking. Multitasking is something like, you know, uploading and, and captioning videos while I'm talking to my girlfriend. That's multitasking. And they say multitasking is something that you shouldn't do and never works because you uh, neglect each task. But um, being proactive is something that works. Another example of being proactive is if you're walking um, to the store and on the way to the store, there's a mailbox. And as you're walking out, you see, oh, I have to put this mail in the mailbox. Well, I'm walking by the mailbox anyways. I might as well put this mail in the mailbox. So I just wanted to point out the difference. I was explaining that yesterday uh, to somebody, the difference between being proactive and uh, being uh, and multitasking.